Hey guys, I wanted to share with you a battery saving tip that I use on my Nexus 5. It's called Per App Modes. It's available in the Franco Kernel Updater application. It's not just this application that can do this. I believe the Faux Kernel app can do this and also Tasker, but I am using the Franco Kernel, so I may as well use the application. So if we dive into it here, you'll see Per App Modes. And basically what this allows you to do is change the kernel settings per application. So you can decide to underclock your CPU and underclock your GPU for a certain application that maybe doesn't need the full power of your device and therefore you can save yourself some battery. Now, you also don't have to be on the Franco kernel to use this, but you won't have quite as many options to configure. So yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at this. So the first tab we have here is set, and this is just a list of all the applications on your device. You can also choose to show the system apps as well. And this is where you go to actually set the different modes for different applications. You can see I've already got two applications set. Blackjack and BT Sport. One is set to the battery saving mode, the other one is set to a streaming saving mode, both of which I created. And you can see the next tab is create. This is where you go to obviously change the mode, exactly what you want each mode to do. So you can have the maximum frequency all the way down to 300 megahertz. You can change the minimum frequency, the governor, although on Franco kernel it's only interactive or performance, input boost frequency, maximum GPU frequency, some thresholds here, and also the CPU throttle limit. So those are the things you can change if you're not on Franco kernel, you probably won't get quite as many options here. If we go to manage, you can actually see the two modes I already have, that's battery and streaming. So if we check out the battery mode, you can see that it downclocks the CPU. It makes the input boost frequency a little bit more conservative. Maximum GPU frequency is only set to 200 maximum. And the hot plug threshold is also quite a bit more conservative. So it should save you some battery life. So for example, Flappy Bird, which I know isn't a very CPU or GPU intensive game, I've set to use the battery mode. Now you can see I've got my floating widget here showing me the CPU usage so we'll dive into flappy bird you should notice a it's underneath there kind of hard you should notice a little toast will pop up per app mode applied and now you'll see that the cpu won't be able to go above one gigahertz because that's what i had it set to and the gpu also will not go above 200 megahertz either so those options are there for you you can uh, you can save yourself some battery damn it when you're playing some games and Obviously it depends on which games and which applications, whether it needs the power or not, you'll have to judge that for yourself, but it should save you some power instead of using frequencies that it really doesn't need to play this game smoothly. So you'll notice it didn't go above one gigahertz on the CPU monitor there, and once you're finished with the game, you can just press the home button, wait a few seconds and you'll see another toast appear that should say, yeah, there you go, per app mode disabled, system return to normal, and now if we open up an application, you'll see it's using higher frequencies than one gigahertz, so it has gone back to normal. You can see 2.3 gigahertz being used right there. Alternatively, if you want to save even more battery life, you could choose to underclock your CPU and GPU frequency on the system default, so maybe something down to 1.5 gigahertz, and then use the per app modes to actually raise the CPU and GPU frequency for applications that actually need it. And then when you exit those applications, it's going to underclock itself again, so you can save yourself a little bit more battery life that way. It depends how you want to do it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Peace out.